Well, tonight, public colleges and universities across the state are reviewing their scholarships. This is after the attorney general's office said race-based scholarships could be considered unconstitutional. Matt Rascone reports on the impact that guidance is having and what attorney general Dave Yost is saying about it. When the law changes, you want your lawyer to call you up and say, hey, Jim, you can't do that anymore. The guidance comes months after the Supreme Court's decision ending affirmative action and the consideration of race in the admissions process. I try to be a good lawyer for the state of Ohio because at the end of the day, uh, if we lose a lawsuit, the taxpayers are the ones that pay. On a January call with the state's public colleges and universities, Attorney General Dave Yost said, while the ruling doesn't specifically address scholarships, it does say eliminating racial discrimination means eliminating all of it. Make sure that you're complying with the law, and we'll, we're, we're here to help you. Yost's office told me race-based scholarships discriminate on the basis of race. Therefore, it would follow such programs are unconstitutional. That is one plausible interpretation of the direction of the SFFA decision. But law professor Atiba Ellis said the Supreme Court has so far signaled the ruling is only about admissions which would suggest that issues either prior to the admissions decision or after the admissions decision haven't been clearly addressed, including the use of scholarship money. Still, he's not surprised schools are being cautious. Cleveland State, Ohio State, Tri-C, and the University of Akron all told me they're reviewing their scholarships. Some are making changes to get rid of any race-based component. Certainly, there is as much politics going on here as law. Matt Rascone, 3 News.